Hello, uh, today we'll see how to create this uh, business card mockup. As I saw in a, a comment, someone requested it. So we'll see how to do that in this uh, tutorial. Alright, so let's get to it. Okay, so open your Adobe Photoshop. And as you can see, I still have my PSD file still open. And I will put this uh, PSD in a link where you can download it and uh, use it for free. And also for this background, uh, you can just find this uh, background textures in DeviantArt in the textures area in here. I will also put this link in description below. Alright, so we just close this file. And I will start a new one from scratch. So we'll just go to file new, and I will just uh, make a, like I will just make it in a YouTube thumbnail size, and I will press OK. Now uh, the first thing we will do is we'll open our uh, wood texture by pressing right click and open it in Adobe Photoshop. It will open in a separate window. Now I will go to image and I will try to rotate it. So I will go to image, image rotation and I will choose 90 degree clockwise in here. And now I will press Ctrl C to select everything. Ctrl A actually to select everything and Ctrl C to copy everything. Now I will close this one in here and I will press Ctrl V to Paste it. Now I we have our uh, background, so I will just name this BG and I will right click and I will convert it to smart objects. Now I will try to transform it, so I will press Ctrl T and I will just right click and I will choose distort and I will try to make it look like uh, a table something like that Alright, and I'll press enter. This depends on the image and how you want it to look like. So now I will just create a, a rectangle tool in a, a size of a, um, a card, business card. So I will just one click and I will choose 3.5 inch by 2 inch and I will press OK. As you can see, it will make a, a size of a, a business card. So we just change this color to maybe orange color. Maybe. Okay. Now also I will right click and I will choose convert to smart objects. Now if I double click on this layer, it will take me in a, a new window. Sometimes I would just uh, try to refer to this. So sometimes when you click on it and it will open and you know just you make uh, your uh, card or let's see, let's put a new card in here and you just try to save it by pressing Control S. It will save now, but sometimes it it's a, a dialog pop up, so you can fix that by just going to layer and choose 
smart objects and then choose replace content and you know that choose your content but it's working now so just close that and as you can see it's updated in here now I will just press ctrl T and we just try, we try to make it look like it's sitting in the, the wood so we choose it's we size it a little bit and then I will just choose this torch try to make it it's like sitting in the wood Alright, let's enter. Now I will duplicate this one. Yeah, let's call this card one really quickly. And I will duplicate it. And I press Ctrl T. Now if I drag this handle, this middle handle in here, and I will put it in here. And if I, sorry, if I try to rotate it. It will just rotate like a clock as you can see so we just rotate it a little bit like so and I will duplicate it again and we we'll press ctrl T now I'll just make it messy you can see now I will duplicate it again So and last one, you can like make uh, as many as you want, but just for this tutorial, I will just try to show you how. Okay, and I will press enter. Now I will go to the first card in here, and I will double click. So I will bring the layer side dialog, and then I will choose drop shadow. And I will just uh, change the speed in here and I will lower the distance a little bit, maybe 17 or 16. And size, I will keep it too many, two, like so. And for the angle, I will just use 48 or 45 angle. Okay. All right. Now uh, I will again. I will enter the the layer side dialog, and for this time I will choose bevel and emboss, and I will keep the side to inner bevel, and for the depth I will choose 25 percent, and the size I will choose one by uh, one soften. And uh, I will change the blending mode to linear light, and I will change the color to soft gray. So it will be D D D D D D, and that will be okay. Now I will lower the opacity for like 40, maybe 30 percent, and I will press OK. As you can see, it give it a. Uh, in the edge, it's like a real card sitting in there. Now I will just right click and I will choose copy layer style and I will select the whole four card in here and I will right click and I will paste the layer style as you can see. Now I can just copy the whole layer style, the whole cards in here and I will press Ctrl T. And also I will try to make him look more real so I will press 
right click and you choose distort and try to place them maybe a little bit in here okay now uh, I will just make the the background a little bit darker so we just go to the adjustment and then we choose brighten and contrast and then we just lower the brighten a little bit maybe minus 40 and I will up the contrast for like maybe 50 right now I will choose uh, curves I will try to make it even darker a little bit and add a little bit of white like so as you can see it gives it a nice effect okay, if you don't want the red you can just choose a hue saturation adjustment and you know just desaturate a little bit the color like so now we'll add a little bit of uh, lights in here so I will just make a new layer and I will just choose black and I will fill it in black by pressing alt delete now I will just go to gradient and I will choose gradient gradient and I will make sure it's black to white and opposite and I will try to make uh, lights coming from the right in here and I will change the blending mode to overlay and I will down the opacity for like 50% can just change it a bit try to find to find the, the best area maybe like Yes. All right. Something like that. Okay. Now we will just blur a little bit of the edges in here. So we go to the background, and I will go to filter. As it's a smart object, you can apply a blur in it. So we'll go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And then we choose for, for pixel and then we press OK. Now because it's a smart object, it will create a smart filter for us. So we can just select the smart filter and delete a little bit of the details. So we can just keep it in radio and just delete in here. You can see. So, maybe like that. All right. Now uh, we need to apply a little bit of blur to the cards too. So we go to the first card in here, and we just make a blur filter on it. So we go to filter blur, Gaussian blur again, and this time we just choose. 2.5 pixel and you press OK and again I will select the smart filter in here for this time I will choose gradient in here this radio gradient and I will just try to delete a little bit from here like so As you can see in the edges it's blurred and it gives it a nice effect it looks a little bit real 
Now we can just press Alt and in this icon in here and we drag and copy for the next card and drag, copy, drag and copy for the whole cards. And here we have a, a really nice uh, mockup that we can update and make changes and you can just use it for anything, brochure or whatever. As you can see if I double click to this card in here, it will open and then we can apply changes and even like make a circle. So let's see, you can just choose custom shape in here and then we choose a, a shape. Alright, maybe this one in here. And just make it like that. Alright, and then we change the color. Maybe green. Look, it's okay. Now we just go right to type front okay press control T can make it bigger so I will just it's just uh, an example so now I will choose the, the crop tool and I will try to make it like so press enter now if I press Control S to update in the other layer as you can see and there you go so I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and it was a little bit helpful for you uh, don't forget to subscribe and comment and you know have a nice day thank you for watching